The Native American teachings refer to everything living has a spirit and we are all relatives. To have a good life is to learn how to be a good relative. We are all interconnected. When we are broken, we become unbalanced and we begin to live out of harmony. At 14 years old, I ran away from my foster home after years of severe abuse. I turned to the streets and I became an alcoholic and used hard street drugs for most of my life. I had a lot of things that I was running from. I slept anywhere that I could. Under bridges, under staircases, and living in that type of lifestyle degrades you so much, you become stuck. When you are living outside and have nowhere to go, you begin to believe your life has no value. I was broken, unbalanced, and living out of harmony. I became a mother at 17 years old and I had a son and years later, I had two more children and lost them due to my addiction and because I was homeless. It took me more than 20 years to change my life around. At the age of 34, I became a grandmother. I was still in the street and using heavily, but I was sick and I was tired. Becoming a grandmother is what started to form change in my life. Enough was enough. I surrendered to treatment and I began to learn the native traditions that would bring harmony and healing into my life. I found culture the hand and I found the hand drum. And with my hand drum, I can now walk a good path. And with my hand drum, I can now walk a good path. My mentor Donna La Chapelle taught me many things. My about mentor Donna La Chapelle taught me many things me about our culture. And she, she believed in me and taught me medicines. about loving myself. She believed in me and taught me about loving myself and trusting that I am worthy of beauty. She always tells me in a good life. Dream big. She always tells me dream As big. I, began to understand this as I opened my mind began to understand and I started this, to ask myself I opened my mind what are and I my started dreams? to ask myself what then are I my dreams that I could create my own life then I realized that I, I could create my own life and my go dream for whatever was to I live wanted. a life with stability my dream was to live a life with, with stability and to have a home with my family home and to I have a home begin my new life a home where I could begin my new life With a lot of hard dedication and work, I got my first house. When I moved in, I was so excited, but I didn't have anything, and it felt overwhelming because the walls echoed. It didn't quite feel like home yet. Then I got connected with bridging. On the day of my bridging experience, I was so nervous. I had so much anxiety over whether people would judge me for needing stuff. <clears throat> But from the moment that I walked in the door, the staff began to feel like family, like relatives. My shopping assistants were very friendly and genuine. They treated me as an equal. They helped me fill my entire house. I got so many things. I got a big, beautiful bed, matching dresser, vanity tables and mirrors. I got a huge couch and two big recliners. The bathroom was stocked with clean and fresh towels and fresh linens. The bathroom um, <clears throat> stuff was something that makes you feel important and, and makes you feel worthy when you have beautiful stuff and when you can take care of yourself. They helped me pick out things like table settings because I got a big, huge, beautiful table. Um, and they asked me questions like, how many will you be seating? Um, one of my favorite things is my fancy blender and wait a teapot. I got a teapot So that I can have my lady friends over for tea and good conversation These things tugged at my heartstrings and because of it I learned how to take care of these things. I was so thankful I had so much stuff and then I was like, um, how big is your truck? Are you guys sure that we can fit all of this stuff? Because it was so much and I really wanted to take everything home. And that's when Jerry confirmed and he said, yes. He said, whatever you pick, we will fit. And they did. Uh, in this last year, so much has happened in my life. I returned to school and I'm now in my second year of college 
and I'm a full-time student with a 4.0 grade average. <laughs> and I'm on an honor society. Um, I'm so happy today. And I've been sober and drug-free for three years. And I'm getting my family back. Last year at Christmas, my children came home for the first time, and we were reunited and we celebrated together. They were so happy and so surprised that I had a full and decorated home waiting for them. I want to thank Bridging for everything and for being a part of my healing journey. I want to thank Rebecca Tolls for her good work and for asking me to be a part of this evening. Yes. Every time that I leave my house, before I close the door, I look back into the house and I say, I love you. <laughs> Through the years, I've learned that it is important that we not only receive, but we also must give back. Yes. It's a part of life cycle, receiving and giving. And also dreams are possible. The dreams that Bridging supports will last a lifetime. To Fran, I want to say thank you for making all the homes of all the people that you touch complete. I would like to sing a song for you tonight and offer a blessing to everyone here. And I would like to dedicate this song to Fran and all the future clients of Bridging. May they pursue their path and follow their dreams. And to all the people in this room, Thank you. We are all relatives. <laughs> 